before this video begins, just wanted to show you guys what happened to the mounts that I made in this video. I don't know if you can see them kind of blown out, eh? This is what happened after the trail the other day. Um, the other one snapped actually, so I don't even. Uh, we'll hear the piece of it. The other one that I made is a little tiny piece now, so that's what that is. Just wanted to preface the video telling you guys don't use aluminum to make them bounce, use steel or something. I have some steel ones that I haven't cut out yet, but I just went back and used the same mounts that I had on before. The only thing that sucks about this is that there's a large gap right here, but this is gonna stand up a lot better than that little cheap aluminum one that I made. And yeah, let's get back into the video. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're working on the truck again. The garage is still a mess, you can kind of tell, but gotta handle some stuff on the truck first because there's just a bunch of parts piling up. Today we're gonna work on installing this universal 40 inch light bar fairing for the up top Overland Bravo rack. Yeah, let me show you the situation before we start on that. When I bought this, he didn't give me the OEM L bracket that is supposed to come with the light bar. So I had to fab up a little ghetto bracket. I just used the extra hardware from the truss rack and this. There's a few brackets I just drilled holes in and then, I don't know if you can tell, but super ghetto. And it whistles super hard. So went ahead and picked up the universal 40 inch light bar bearing for the up top overland bravo and then we're just gonna have to go ahead and make some new l brackets that'll fit this so i think this is gonna have to be a little bit longer so i think first things first and that's gonna be to replace the oem fairing with the new 40 inch universal fairing and then do some measurements and make some brackets Now we gotta do some measuring to see where we want the light bar. Yeah, let's do some measuring and cutting. So, off camera, forgot to record this, but just fabbed up a couple brackets. Super ghetto looking, but they'll be fine, hopefully. If these aluminum ones don't, don't uh, hold up, then I'll just switch them out with the steel ones later. This is what it looks like on. It looks a lot cleaner. So I'm hoping these aluminum brackets that I made hold pretty well. Uh, they seem pretty sturdy. I mean, <laughs> how much force is really gonna be put on this? Uh, well, we're going on a trail this weekend. So if this holds up, then it holds up. If it doesn't, then I'll just make some steel ones when I get back, but yeah looks pretty good it's also pretty streamlined it's not like up here anymore hopefully uh gets rid of some of the noise that i'm getting but yeah hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video hit that like button if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff hit me up in the comment section and uh if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button see you guys in the next one peace